Okay, designing for Origin, we're in Autodesk Fusion and we're going to show how to take a found uh, DXF file, uh, a 2D drawing basically out of any other CAD package and uh, flesh it out in Fusion 360 ready for exporting to Origin. Um, so we'll kick off, we've uh, got a new file here so you can do that under new design if you want. Um, I'll close the old one. And then we look at document settings, so set that to what you want your uh, your project to be. We'll do this one in inches. Uh, and then I will go insert. So insert DXF. Uh, this is where we browse for the DXF. It's actually automatically popped up the origin. Um, so we want to basically looking from the top down at our panel. So I'm going to choose this XY plane here. Um, and then I look for the, so that's the plane that the sketch is going to kick off on. Uh, and then I search for the uh, DXF file to install into that sketch. Um, so import into that sketch. So it's called Cleat Screwdriver Rack. So we've seen this elsewhere. Um, go open. Uh, and it's then going to come up with a bunch of options. So this one is in units inch. Uh, there's no offset and we're just using layer one. So it's showing us what that's looking like. So we're going to go with inches, accept, uh, and then look over here. So it's just finishing up placing that. Look over here, we've got a sketch called uh, Cleat Screwdriver. So uh, I'm just going to rotate around. I'm just clicking on the little view cube here. So we're looking from above uh, and then middle clicking to pan around and zooming in and out with the mouse scroll wheel. Um, there's other options for zooming in and out down here and panning. I'll let you experiment with them. Uh, so it looks like we've got a little diagram here of how this works. Uh, so we've got half inch plywood and quarter inch rabbits. So these are the rabbits here, these little slots. So it's quarter inch deep um, to accommodate the ply from another axis there. So we'll zoom out and look at the whole thing. So these are the left and right uh, supports and then there's the bottom bracket here and the, uh, the top rack. Uh, so this should be pretty straightforward to, uh, to create. Um, we'll do these two together. So I'm selecting these, uh, these profiles. Uh, they, when it's a solid uh, outline, it can highlight them blue ready for extrusion. So holding down shift, I select both of these and then I go create, extrude. Uh, and we read that this was half inch ply, so 0.5 uh, because we're in um, inches. Uh, and just looking here, we actually want to go down so that we can uh, cut our rabbits from the top. So I'll make that negative 0.5. So now we're extruding away from Z equals zero downwards and then go OK. Uh, we'll notice it's actually turned off the rest of that sketch, which is OK. We'll just take a quick look at these. So that's those two panels totally ready to, uh, to cut. Um, so we'll get the other two now. They're a little more complicated because they've got those little rabbits. So I'm in sketch. I'm turning on the, uh, the sketch view. So from gray to uh, little yellow light bulb. Uh, and then we'll select all of these, holding down shift once again. So we'll do left and right. Um, so that's this whole silhouette for this shape. Um, and keep in mind, we're not actually doing anything to the original sketch. Uh, we're just taking that data and creating solid bodies with it. So you can see here we've got body one, body two, and then hopefully at the end of this we'll have three and four. So um, extrude, create, Extrude, uh, once again, negative 0.5. Um, and then we'll look at it from the side to confirm. So that's good. Uh, that's uh, the silhouettes of those shapes. So that will become a black object that will be a uh, cut outside. Um, so that's good. Now we've just got the little rabbits to do. So we select these. Actually, I'll hide the bodies for a second. Um, it's selecting these little slots. So holding down Shift. Find all of those. So these are the same depth uh, up here. It said, it said quarter of an inch. So that's cool. Middle click to pan, um, and then I'll turn my bodies back on, 
and go create extrude and you'll notice uh, when I drag it down I mean that's just cutting through everything but you'll notice this automatically goes to cut and it tells us the two objects we're cutting through so body three and four which is these two um, so rather than do it that depth we want to do negative 0.25 um, so that's quarter of an inch which is half the uh, the depth of the panel um, cut okay that looks good and then we'll turn off that sketch uh, that's great that's everything ready to go so holding down shift um, and middle click to orbit um, or we can do it up here with this right here um, so I'll export these one at a time so a long click on that um, and I'll call that bottom bracket um, then second click uh, this is top and then this is panel left and panel right okay so that automatically uh, gets us appropriate names for when we uh, export the file um, so you'll notice the uh, the plugin respects that so export to shaper uh, there's a video elsewhere of how to install this, um, we'll link to that. Um, so we select the panel, go OK. Um, bottom bracket, cool. I'll put it all in a folder called uh, seat complete screwdriver. Um, bottom bracket, and then do this one. Don't worry about the settings in there, it's just one panel per uh, top, that's all good. Um, now this is where it gets interesting, it actually, we just select one uh, panel, one plane. Uh, so this just indicates that we're going to cut from this top side, uh, but it will find these other elements and uh, export them appropriately coded as well. So, okay, um, panel left, okay, and export unselected that's all good panel right so if we view that folder so uh, panel bottom bracket is obviously just a black element panel left that's good uh, panel right the same uh, mirrored and then the top that is good to cut so we just drop that on a USB drive and send it to origin so we've exported our DXF, uh, dropped that on a thumb drive, and now it's time to place the files. So uh, there's a couple of these. So we've got the, uh, we'll just do the panel right, uh, and actually we'll do the panel right and the top. Uh, the others are all on here and you're welcome to uh, continue, but um, these are the interesting ones. Um, so this is in design mode. Uh, now we're going to jump to cut mode, um, so you'll see here uh, all the various shapes. Um, so I'm going to do a pocket uh, with a quarter inch cutter. Um, so we'll just plunge down into this pocket, remove this material. And then uh, we'll convert that to an inside cut. Um, so we'll take the pocket and make it an inside cut. Uh, that then gives us a toolpath to finish up around the outside. Come around the edges. Uh, actually, with that in mind, we can do the same uh, over here and tell that one to be just an inside cut. Um, so we'll cut that as well. So you'll notice it gets rid of all the material because it's a uh, half inch panel of ply and we're using a quarter inch cutter. Um, now there is one point of note here, uh, we're not getting into these corners, so uh, in future we'd probably want to do something like uh, just enlarge those guys a little bit. Um, so then we'll do the boundary, you get a quick idea of the shape we made. So this would be exactly the same process if we were cutting this. Um, just a couple of passes to get to the, uh, the full half inch deep. So I'll zoom out and show you what that looks like. Um, 
So there's that guy and exactly the same process to cut our uh, top panel. So uh, moving along like so. Oh. And you'll see all the details for uh, accommodating the screwdrivers. So the idea is it's meant to be pretty straightforward to go from uh, concept to cut. Um, just drop some tape down and you're good to go. One more. And uh, back to the beginning. Retract. That is uh, our shapes air cut, just as an example. 